Hello you lovely people this is me the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and welcome to get curry. Today's recipe is a classic from my home a cauliflower curry. Well traditionally regionally we call this flour batata matar rassa. Let's begin. Sarvapratham apan ek chhan ek vatan taiyar karun ghevya which classically means Let's begin with making a paste. Now this paste is classically made with uh, coconut, dry coconut, which is also known as copra. Um, I'm going to char grill it and eventually I'm going to roast it with onions and garlic and things like that and run that into a slightly coarser paste. Let's first begin with the copra or the coconut and char it on open flame. Well, the oil in the coconut will also ensure that this starts charring quickly and also get flavored. we keep turning this once twice over and that's about it well traditionally this is of course done uh, on charcoal and in an open pit in the villages but of course because of constraints we're doing this on an open flame like so let's move this aside do not overburn it similarly let's char the onion from outside while the onion is getting charred let's quickly start cutting the coconut into pieces keep an eye on the onion as well pull the charred onion out and holding it with a tong let's cut this pieces that are eventually manageable to get ground you know the thin film between the petals is going to ensure that uh, the onion gets sticky or slippery but just be careful let's place a pan on high flame and add in regular vegetable oil transfer in the coconut and onions time to add in some cloves of garlic and we stir fry this on high flame till all of this turns wonderfully golden brown in color with this off goes the flame and this gets transferred in another plate to ensure that this cools down completely because the next step is grinding once this cools down you carefully transfer all of this in the blending jar along with the oil of course because that's where the flavor lies and add to it a couple of more ingredients beginning with coriander leaves freshly picked washed and hand torn a couple of green chilies snip this off like so couple of spices beginning with red chili powder a combination of good color and spice garam masala powder a touch of turmeric powder untoasted cumin seeds let's cover this and grind this into a slightly coarser paste our vatan like i said or coconut paste is done and ready and as you see it's slightly coarse it's now move on to the cooking process first things first we light the flame and add in vegetable oil Before the oil begins to heat, let's transfer in our wet paste and allow this to cook on high flame for roughly a minute. While this is cooking, I'm also going to add in a couple of petals of kokum for that sourness in the recipe. Well, in case you cannot lay your hands on kokum, do add in a couple of cubes of uh, tomatoes. Time to add in our vegetables, florets of cauliflower. Along with this, green peas, fresh or frozen. and along with this wedges of potatoes let's add in 2 cups of water half a teaspoon of salt and then we mix this well at this point in time you whack the flame on high and allow this to cook uncovered for at least 20 minutes our flour batata matar rassa or a coconut scented cauliflower curry is done and ready well make this for your family make this for your friends what's important is to serve this with hot steaming rice or if i may add bhakri well there's nothing better than bhakri rassa bhaji and a little bit of koshimbir this is chef varun namdar signing off bye for now